Hey folks, welcome to another knockout analysis of UFC 254's Khabib versus Gaethje fight. And that was what we saw with Magomed Ankalaev knocking out Ion Kutalaba with a beautiful left hand knocking him down. And then, in, and then ending it with a flurry on the ground. So what you have to remember is that Kutalaba just went down this flash knockdown a handful of seconds before we finished the fight. So he's not fully at 100% capacity anymore. I'm going to go bit by bit so you guys can see it well. So Kutlava is stalking. I'm going to see here, as he sets, he throws that right hand. So see the right hand is coming in, but he doesn't really land with anything as, as uh, Uncle Ives is stepping back. Uh, Uncle Ives throws that right hand, but it doesn't really hit uh, anything correctly either. We're almost to the face where that I wanted to show. See that big right hand here and notice how he is out of position with his head. Now, already right here, Uncle Ayev could have thrown that left hand and knocked him out if he was in in, uh, in a position to do so. So that's the first thing. So the big problem that you see a lot still in MMA is that people overcommit. And that's what Kutalaba does here. He's just totally committed to that right hand to the point where being out of position, which means that he has a long way to come back here and rotate into his next punch. And that's his undoing. So I'm going to go slow. So you guys can see. So what he's going to do, which we don't often see in MMA, but he's doing it here. He's actually doing a backhand. So that 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 right hand is going to come circling outward into a backhand type motion. So it goes slow. See the right hand goes here, backhand, and it actually seems to connect a little bit. You see that right hand is going to land here a little bit. But he pays for it at first. Why? Well, you can see here that this big right arm swing is hitting him inside the circle of his attack. So he's wide open and he gets hit here, mostly to the neck, a little bit to the jaw by the forearm of Ankalaev. My main point is that I want you to watch what this hand's doing. It's all the way over there. It should have been up here. You don't keep it low like that. That's that's why the big swing here from, um, from Ankalaev is actually landing. So that's the key point to remember right now is that you don't want to have your guard low like Kutalaba does right here. So the, the backhand lands, we're going to move up to the left hand that grabs here. I want you to see this point here. He grabs behind the back of the neck. I don't know if you want to do a palm strike or just grab. It's kind of hard to see because it's a mix of both. But look what's already coming his way over on the right side of his face. Look where his hand is. It's wide open. So that left hand is going to come in and uh, Uncle Ayev is going to land it flush. So a few things. That big right hand here. I'm going to come back here. He misses with that big right hand. He recycles it into a backhand. Nothing wrong with that, but this is a problem. Dropping your hands like that. So right hand is going to graze Uncle Ayev. Not really hit, but uh, Kutlava gets hit by Uncle Ayev's forearm. And then he brings that left hand over to grab and he falls straight into that big punch here. And notice his face. I mean, that's a really big punch and it lands perfectly. So Uncle Ive did some really good timing and I'll point something else out as well. Notice how he's fading back. So he's leaning away with his upper body to get away from those punches. Hold on for a second here. So right here, he's leaning away. He's going to then lean all the way over to the other side to throw that left hand. So the last position that Kutalaba saw his opponent was right here. So he's going to aim for that. Notice what happens. Okay, you see that Ankalaev ends up all the way on the other side. Now, he is a little bit lucky here because you can see that if that left hand here would have been a punch to the face, just watch frame by frame and you'll see it. If it would have been a punch instead of a grab, it could have been a knockout for him. Because that left hand here makes contact before Uncle Ives left hand makes contact itself. So he's a little bit behind in timing, but he's fortunate that this is just a hand grab and not a punch and he can land his shot here. And what a really good effective shot it was. Notice how it's all the way in. And you can see that Kutalaba is going down and then it's just a matter of following up. Right here, just a few punches here. I think the ref was was okay because at this point, uh, Kutlaba was covering up with both hands. 
seems like he steps in late but it's only at this point here when the punches land flush that he steps in when he sees that there's one guy not defending himself uh, coherently anymore so we'll look at it from a different angle again notice these big hand positions i hate it when guys does do that it's leaving everything wide open like this tuck it in tight guys it's 2020 and at the time of uh, you know brawling that that's all long gone in the ufc the, the, and in modern mma there's, there's no there's no reason why you shouldn't have a good defensive position in the non-striking hand when you're when you're fighting not at this level so watch that big right hand and this is what i wanted to show right look at how out of position he is look at that right knee look at that left leg trailing here he's got his arm is all the way over here he's got his fist over here he got left fist here he got right fist there and he is actually pretty much angled towards the cage as opposed to towards his opponent that's out of position that costs time the main reason why that happens is because he was not close enough for that big right hand he needed to step a little bit closer before launching it so he wouldn't have to overcommit like he just did here and then we see from here i'll go slow the back fist here notice i'll go bit by bit so here you see the forearm landing so that's uncle i forearm landing here all right and now we're going to go bit by bit here see the left hand of uh, Kudlava is going to grab and Uncle Live here lands with the left really big good shot goes to the goes to the ground don't like this this is drop down keep it high guys keep keep defending yourself anyway you see him going down and this is a bad fall one of the key reasons why guys get concussed and brain damage is this here so watch how the back of his head is going to slam into the floor and rebound off it so i'm going to go slow slams to the floor rebounds off it and then it starts raining punches so what's going on here don't don't forget um if you watch the whole fight you'll see it that Kutalaba was had a flash knockdown like 20 30 seconds before this here so he was he was hit real hard first gets hit again slams his head his head into the pavement well <laughs> the the ufc's pavement anyway and then rebounds off it and then a few seconds later it's raining blows first he's got his guard see the ref is watching sees that that Kutalaba's defending he's keeping his guard closed so he's not intervening just yet and then when it when it follows through here the uncle i is actually starting to land his punches here this big right hand boom it comes a little bit through and then this one here is just on the chin and the last one is uh yeah the ref is already on the way but by that time it's too late so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this breakdown um again uh, there's a lot more content on the patreon if you want to watch some more you, you can check that out over there and i'll talk to you guys next time take care